Hey everybody, Ash here with Gen Sense. I'm actually filming this video right after my last review, which is Jimmy Two Man Blue, which should be out before this video. I'm doing two reviews back to back. I usually don't do that. Today I'm taking a look at the new Yves Saint Laurent release, Why Eau de Parfum. I had to say Yves Saint Laurent release probably 10 times just now to get that right. This is a little bit of a tongue twister. So yeah, Yves Saint Laurent, Why Eau de Parfum. We're gonna be taking a look at the presentation really quickly. Then I'm gonna give you a rundown on the fragrance, let you know what I think about it, whether I think it's good or bad, whether it's something that you should potentially sample or purchase. Yeah, just gonna give you that, that whole breakdown. So let's go ahead and jump into this Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum. All right, everybody, let's quickly check out this presentation. So here we have the box, you have the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration down here at the bottom. On the top of the box, you can see YSL right here. And on the side, YSL Beauty down at the bottom. On the other side, just a barcode. On the back, you've got your ingredient information. And then on the bottom of the box, you have the batch code punched into the box here. Here we've got the bottle. It's the same as the Y Eau de Toilette bottle, only this one is darker. It is black and then has a gradient down to the bottom where it's clear. You've got the name of the house, fragrance here, Y. Then on the bottom, you have your sticker with batch code. The cap does click into place and it has YSL on the top of the cap as well. And the atomizer here is really good as well. There we have it, just a quick look at the YSL Y Eau de Parfum presentation. Personally, I really, really like this one. I think the bottle looks great. Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum obviously follows the original release Y Eau de Toilette, which came out in 2017. That release didn't get a ton of love, at least from the fragrance community in general, the more hardcore guys out there. Uh, most of them said that it was generic, uninspired, crappy, whatever. For what it's worth, Y Eau de Toilette is a really good complement getting fragrance, very versatile, extremely easy to wear, especially in casual and office situations. So while it did catch some hate, it's not really a true terrible fragrance in my opinion. Enter the Eau de Parfum. This one has actually received much better reviews than the original Eau de Toilette. In general, between the two, it seems like the Eau de Parfum is almost universally liked more than the Eau de Toilette is. And before going too much further into this review, I need to say thank you to Timmy from Imagine who actually hooked me up with this bottle. If you haven't checked this channel out, please do so. Link is in the description. Why Eau de Parfum opens up with ginger, apple, and bergamot. Though between those, ginger and apple is what I pick up the most. The apple here is a fresh, zingy type of green apple. It really pops. And then a couple of minutes in, you start to pick up sage and juniper. Though it doesn't come across herbal, it comes across more fresh and aromatic. The juniper here especially helps with the freshness of the fragrance. It really just keeps that freshness ramped up through into the mid. And in case you're unaware of how juniper smells, juniper is used often to flavor gin. So some people may describe to you the smell of juniper berries as being similar to the smell of gin, only without the booze. Through the mid, Y Eau de Parfum retains the juniper, sage, apple, and ginger from the opening. There's also a fresh geranium that starts to be mixed in during the mid, though that's more of a supporting note. The geranium is never really all that strong. There's also a base here of amberwood and tonka. The amberwood is velvety and warm, provides kind of an ambroxan slash woodsy feel to the base. And then tonka, of course, provides a little bit of sweetness. It is extremely pleasant and pleasing through the mid. And in the dry down, Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum actually starts to remind me a little bit of Invictus Aqua. Not the exact same as Paco Rabanne Invictus Aqua, just a similar kind of vibe. It's almost like this is Yves Saint Laurent's version of that fragrance. And Yves Saint Laurent Y does stay fresh the entire way through. This is definitely just fresh and aromatic from start to finish. The main things you're gonna remember from this fragrance are the sweet green apple, uh, the brisk, fresh juniper, and then the warm, woodsy amber wood with the good dose of ginger as well. It doesn't stay the exact same all the way through the fragrance, but this one doesn't change an enormous amount from the opening to the mid to the dry down. I would say the dry down is more woodsy, not as sweet as the opening, and that's pretty much the biggest difference between the opening and the dry down. Why Eau de Parfum is 100% going to be the type of fragrance that is going to catch some hate from hardcore niche fragrance aficionados. You know, people that just in general hate mass appealing fragrances on principle. Now to be totally fair, Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum is nothing groundbreaking. 
There's nothing revolutionary here. They're not reinventing the wheel. This is not something that you're gonna smell and be like, oh my God, I've never smelled anything like that before. I guess you could actually do that if you haven't smelled a whole lot of things, so I take that back partially. But in the grand scheme of things, this is probably what would be considered a more basic type fragrance. It's centered around ginger, apple, juniper, a little bit of citrus, and amberwood slash ambroxan. And it's trying to appeal to as many people as humanly possible. So that's automatically going to turn away those people I just talked about. The people into niche fragrances, the people into very artistic fragrances, the people that want something that smells different than what everybody else has. And that's fine. But for the vast majority of people, the vast overwhelming majority, they wear fragrances because they want to smell good to themselves and good to other people. That's why mass appealing, people pleasing fragrances exist and why they do well. So all that being said, why Eau de Parfum absolutely succeeds at being a mass appealing, compliment getting, people pleasing fragrance. It succeeds, it excels. It's super versatile. You can use it in almost any situation that I can think of. You could wear that formally, casually, to the office, on a date, on a night out, whatever. And like Y Eau de Toilette, Y Eau de Parfum is a compliment puller. It's also a pretty much any season fragrance. I feel like you could wear that winter, spring, summer, or fall. Again, in the extreme heat, you may wanna dial those sprays back a little bit and in the extreme cold, you may wanna ramp them up a little bit. But the versatility factor here is through the roof. Longevity on this, very good. Eight plus hours off my skin. That means that Y Eau de Parfum will last you through a work day. It also means that if you spray it on at like 6 p.m., it's gonna last you past midnight. Projection with Y Eau de Parfum is not insane, but I would say it's above average. I have no qualms whatsoever with the performance of Y Eau de Parfum. It is far superior to Y Eau de Toilette in terms of the performance. And I've got to say, just me personally, I prefer Y Eau de Parfum to Y Eau de Toilette. It's richer, it smells of higher quality, it's more appealing to me, and it retains all the versatility of the original. So it's just a clear step up, in my opinion. A number of the blue releases over the past year or so have been pretty lackluster. Things like Jimmy Choo Man Blue, which I just did a video on, or the John Varvatos Nick Jonas fragrance. They just come across really uninspired, kind of bland. So while they may smell pleasant, uh, they don't smell great. Those fragrances are not good enough that they really stick with you after you're done wearing it. They're almost bland enough that you could smell them out somewhere right after you got done wearing it yourself and not realize that another person is wearing the exact same thing. In my opinion, Y Eau de Parfum is clearly superior to Jimmy Choo Man Blue, uh, Barbados, Nick Jonas that we just talked about, and most all of the other blue fragrances that have been released lately. So if you're looking for a very versatile, mass appealing kind of fragrance that does retain a little bit of maturity to it, then I would think that Y Eau de Parfum is a great choice for you. I would think in that situation, you should definitely at the very least sample it. Again, Y Eau de Parfum is not hyper unique, so some people may blast it for that, but it succeeds at being an everyday wear, super versatile, compliment getting, inoffensive, people pleasing fragrance. And it succeeds at that at the highest level. Now normally I would tell you to wait and pick this up from discounters instead of buying it at full retail price. The issue with that is Yves Saint Laurent fragrances are not discounted all that much usually, especially their more modern releases. For example, we'll just take a look at Y Eau de Toilette. As of this video, when I'm filming it, Y Eau de Toilette is not even available on FragranceNet. It's been sold out for a while. On Fragrance X, it is available in a 100 milliliter bottle size. The issue with that though, is it's $110 on Fragrance X after their discount. Guess how much Y Eau de Toilette goes for retail at that size, $95. So that means it's actually $15 more at the discounter. And that was released in 2017, which means this one is probably gonna be at least another year and a half before it shows up on discounters at an actual discount, if not longer. Could be looking at two years because Y Eau de Toilette has been available for over a year now and it's still not available discounted, at least from the traditional discounters. Now, where you may have better luck is on eBay. Some eBay sellers do have Y Eau de Parfum for a decent price. Only issue with that is you wanna make sure to buy from a legitimate seller because as we all know, eBay does have a number of counterfeits floating around. I'll be doing a video very soon where I go into more detail 
about buying on eBay and just buying fragrances in general. Just a Cliff's Notes though on buying on eBay. Don't buy from anybody that's got a very small amount of feedback. If at all possible, do try to buy from actual established stores on eBay. If you see that they have tens of thousands of feedback and that they have an actual storefront, usually you're okay with that. And don't buy anything from Russia or the Russian Federation. Tons and tons of fakes come from there. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me on why Eau de Parfum. Let me know in the comments what you think about this one. In my opinion, actually a really, really good release, a step above why Eau de Toilette. Very easy to wear. People like the way that this one smells. You can wear this in a crowd. You can wear this out with friends. You can wear this to work and everybody's gonna like it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you guys again next time.